It's a Panasonic DMR EX768. Turn the lights off and have a look because the displays are very dim at the best of times. On the, uh, the original Panasonic DVD recorders, the DMR E20 and E30, these are the original analog ones that came out in 1999. Um, you could change the settings of the display. It was always set to medium, and you could dim them a little bit if you wanted, or you could make them brighter, and that tended to make them light. Well, you still buy an E20 today, and the display still work fine, so, you know, it's the same as anything. But we are plugged in, and we're getting nothing. Usually with these, it's quite a simple um, two or three capacitors on the power supply. Wouldn't it be nice? Because this belongs to a nice old chap who's got some recordings on this. He wants to keep. So we will try and get it going for the nice old chap. And of course the great thing about these is just a few screws and you're in and you can tell straight away just by lifting the top off if um if there's a problem because you can see the power supply straight away so once you've lifted that up slide it out slide it out slide it out Oh, well, that's disappointing. I can't see any problems with the capacitors. It is normally that one and that one. So maybe we've got... Let's just have a look around here. No, so it could be the voltage regulator. Hmm. Let's get the multimeter out and have a look. Obviously make sure that the fuse is okay. And it is. Right, I'm going to plug in again. Okay. That leads no good. Here is the good lead. working. There's probably something wrong with the chap's lead. This has got a HDMI isn't it? Yeah. Okay, um, so the first lead that I tried, because I've left his lead behind, the first lead I try, I tried didn't work. I'm sure you can see that the, um, 
the display is flashing on and off there if I keep it nice and dark. But look what happens if I try and turn the machine on. Are you ready? It comes up with XL. And XL means extension link. An extension link means Ah, I couldn't see it, but I'm not bent. I've just I've just bent down and now I can see the extension link usually lights up in red. And if I zoom in without it getting you can see the extension link in red. So obviously because it was dead, because I plugged in a, a lead without a fuse in, I've taken the top off. There's absolutely no need to take the top off, and the good news for the gentleman is there's going to be no charge in repairing this because all he's done which many people do is he's pressed the extension link on his remote control now this is not the remote control designed for this thing that for this unit but it is a panasonic dvd recorder remote control and you can see an extension link button there so i'm going to press the extension link did that go off it did i've just pressed it again and it says hello and the machine is now coming on. Bless him. I think he is 90. That's going to come on fine now. So not a fault. All the caps are fine. In fact, I've got a funny feeling that this unit has had very little use. Very few hours. But let's just see at the moment it's stuck on hello. These machines do get stuck on a low, uh, but no, it's it, it's gone into play mode. Now, let me press play button because it's on hard drive and it'll probably start playing something. There it is. It's absolutely fine. Bless him, he just pressed the wrong button, which it happens. So if it happens to you, if there's a member of a family that can't get the machine to come on and you're seeing X L come up so ext l that stands for extension link they have pressed the extension link button the extension link button why they still have it on modern day machines and of course i'm still classing this as a modern day machine because it's it's got a hdmi socket on it but extension link was designed but even before freeview before digital television it was a way to connect a digi box to your scart socket and extend you'd set your timer on your machine leave your digi box on which channel you wanted to record and the extension link would send a signal through the SCART to turn your digi box on at a certain time it was a very clever way of recording from a digi box why do they have it on these no need this has got built-in freeview and there's absolutely no need for that feature the mind boggles but i suppose certain countries still are analog and they require digi boxes, so it's it's weird. That's probably why Panasonic kept the software in these later ones. Anyway, I'll put the um, I'll switch it off. Yeah, put the top back on, and we'll take it in back tomorrow.